everybody. Terry White here. I'm at Piedmont Park in Atlanta, getting ready to shoot um, just some landscape, some of the skyline as the sun sets uh, in the background there, and we're going to do some HDR as well. Hey, everybody. So, that's what I'm looking at right now. Beautiful skyline, nice lake with the ducks. Couldn't ask for a better day to do this and a nicer sunrise lighting up the clouds there. Hi there. Hi Jake. So I've got my uh, Nikon D810 with my 14 to 24 millimeter lens and also my uh, GPS from Dawn Tech is on there as well, mapping my location. And let's go ahead and take a couple shots. So I've got it on the tripod, which is a Gitso. Um, Traveler tripod. There's the model number for anyone who cares. And hi. And let's go ahead and take a few shots. I've already got it set on bracketed exposures, um, aperture priority. And ooh, let me check my ISO. I hadn't checked that lately. And good. I'm okay. I'm on ISO 200. Made that mistake in Amsterdam where I hadn't checked. And there's my first exposure. My dark exposure and my overexposed exposure which I will assemble those um, frames together in Lightroom CC with its new HDR capabilities but check that out look at that shot I'm hoping to get that on my camera and I know the reflections in the water are awesome aren't they so let me make sure I'm getting them yeah it looks like I'm getting them too and great matter of fact I'm gonna move the uh, camera down a bit so I'm going to have to put you guys down while I do this. They basically just tilted the camera down with the ball head just a little bit to make sure I capture that reflection. And beautiful night here in Atlanta at Piedmont Park. So again, shooting bracketed, three frames with two uh, stops in between so that I have some nice uh, HDR capable images when I get back. Well, I'm shooting in RAW. I really don't worry about the white balance. I'll take care of that in post if I really need to. Um, but the white balance should be pretty much on target. And again, uh, shooting HDR, I have done it mostly handheld. But as the sun goes down, especially if I take my, um, take my uh, ISO down, uh, I may want to uh, make sure that it's steady. So the other trick, by the way, because even with my finger, I could be causing some vibration. So if I put the camera on um, a timer mode, which basically I think I, I dropped it down to two seconds or three seconds, it will take the shot. So therefore, I'm not um, going to shake the camera. Yep, it shot all three exposures. You're right, it just did. And one, two, three, just shot all three exposures for me. So, great tip, um, if you wanna shoot on a tripod, make sure you get all three exposures without any movement whatsoever. Just go ahead and put it on timer mode. All right, oh, by the way, I did capture earlier uh, some drone footage. So I brought my um, DJI Phantom two vision plus drone out today and hadn't flown it in a while so it's great to capture the sun as it was going down i have no idea what that footage is going to look like but i would have periscoped it but i can't periscope and use my phone as my um, heads up display at the same time so um hopefully i'll get home and take a look at that footage and it will look pretty good but great night out here to shoot hdr Victoria's over there, my partner in crime. She's shooting HDR as well. She just waved. She said, don't bug her. And uh, someone just asked about the settings. And, all right, I'll secure that later. Uh, settings, uh, live view mode to pre prevent, prevent mirror up. I normally don't shoot that way, but uh, just so you know, I'm on, there we are. F8 at 80 for, at well it's after priority so it's going to adjust for whatever it needs but I'll let it take all three frames and we're shooting in raw so it just took all three frames and again I'm at the I'm on the 14 to 24 and I'm all the way at 24 
I just wanted to zoom in a little bit and not get so much of the stuff on the side. But with the 810, I can crop and get a decent image as well. And if we take a look at these. Uh, let's go down. The GPS coordinates are being mapped as well, even though I know it's Piedmont Park. But when I post shots, people just always say, well, where was this taken? And so Lightroom does a nice job of putting that um, in my website from the metadata that my Dawn Tech is capturing. All right. Oh, there's some ducks. Oh. You guys are missing the ducks. <laughs> They're biting. They're attacking. And apparently oh God, oh the ducks God. like roses. <laughs> lots of roses oh here. <laughs> They're coming after you. Don't feed the ducks. They will come after you. Someone just said you don't have to worry about the mirror on the 810. Uh, good tip to know. And I'll just capture a few more. Now another tip um, from Mikkel, the guy who I follow in Amsterdam. He's a Nikon ambassador. Um, what he does is he'll set up a shot like this, put it on, you know, do a bracket it manually and it's, or actually not bracketed, just shoot manually and actually capture the different scenes as the sun's going down. So in other words, as it's just naturally changing, maybe 20 minutes apart, he's capturing that. So pretty cool to do. If you missed the first part, we're here at Piedmont Park uh, capturing the sun going down with the landscape in, in the background. Nice reflections on the lake here or the pond, if you want to call it that, with all kinds of cool nature going around, people swinging, other people shooting, and how did you get the camera to take the three shots? Uh, you missed that tip earlier, that's on timer mode, and basically when it's on timer and um, bracketed exposure, which there's my bracket button, so that's just a feature of the camera, when it's on timer, set to bracket it, it will take all three shots at the same time. So that way you get the steadiest possible shots you're going to get off the tripod. All right, guys, that's about all I have to say on this particular broadcast. We can watch the ducks a little bit longer. They were bathing there a minute ago or drinking, bathing, drinking, same thing. Resting. Resting. And beautiful night here in Atlanta. Take care. Catch you guys later.